So we're going to start constructing the isometric circle. I'm going to do it on a much larger scale so you can see. Right now, my isometric square that I've constructed is 3 inches by 3 inches. And I've also constructed a vertical and or I should say I've also at, um, drawn my midpoints and connected them. So now with that, we're going to go in with, I'll identify where my obtuse angles are. So here's my obtuse and here's my obtuse. So I want to draw a construction line that goes from my obtuse to my midpoint. And I'm also going to do it on the opposite side. Now this represents our radius for our larger arc, right? So it's the radius for our larger arc. So I can go in with my compass place it where the start of my point is or where that obtuse is I'm going to make a small mark on each side and you'll see that I did this it's lining up so I'm going to make my larger arc right and I'm going to do the larger arcs first before I get to the smaller arc. So we're going to do the same thing again and go in the opposite direction. So this is my obtuse angle. And I'm going to connect to my midpoint. So obtuse angle, midpoint, obtuse angle, midpoint. And it should be the same uh, dimension. So I'll make a little mark again. And it should line up. Okay. And from my tangent here to the tangent there, I'm going to then define my arc. So now we have an intersection. The intersection gives us the radius for our smaller arc. Right? So it's the radius for our smaller arcs. So this is the center point that's happening right here. So this is the center point for our small arc, and this is the center point. These are our two tangent points that it needs to connect to. So I'm going to go into it, place it on my center point, and then I'll make a notch on my tangent, making sure it lines up, right? And we're going to do it on the opposite side as well. And then we're going to get that. We'll do it on the other side. Now, sometimes it might be slightly off. So what you can do is, no, I think this lines up perfectly, right? So we make sure we make a mark on each side to see where it's going to fall. Now this one, it's slightly off. Right, but yeah, I think it lines up well now. I'm going to erase this little piece right here. So we have our isometric circle. Let's try it on the other side again so you can see how I've done it from scratch. So again, if my radius, sorry, if my diameter is 3 inches, then my radius is going to be one and a half inches 
So I'm finding my midpoints. And connecting it. And I'm going to go in now with my construction line so you can see how light it should be. Go in on this side as well. Right, so we have our construction lines. Again, we identify where our obtuse angles are, and we're going to create a V from here to our midpoint. And we'll do it on the opposite side as well. Now, if you have to only create one arc, you still need to pay attention to which of uh, the bisectors you need to construct so we have this first one i'll just construct my arc so you can see it before the multiple lines so i'll place it on my start point open it up to our Tangent, make a mark, make a second mark, and I'm going to then create my arc. So I'll do that again once I like what I see, and then I'm going to define my arc. All right, we can also go like this and just construct it if this is the arc we need only. But what is going to happen is, so I can do this, right, mark that, mark that, it lines up, and make my second arc, right, but we need our bisectors to create that with a smaller radius. So we're going to go back here again, from my obtuse, I'm going to connect to my I'm going to connect to my midpoint. We'll do it on this side as well. All right, and now we're going to go in with our smaller arcs. So again, I'm going to reduce my compass and I'm going to line it up with my two tangent points. So this is one. We make a mark on that side. All right, see, I made the mark. And then we're going to come over like that. So I'll make it more defined so that there is a consistency in our object line i'll come to my center point here to the bisector where it intersects and i'll make a mark here and a mark there all right let's try that again all right so i've made a mark here and i've made a mark here so i'm now going to go around because that's where i it seems to fall perfectly all right, make sure that your line starts and ends at your tangent. And now we have our second isometric circle. So I hope that helped, guys. And you can do the other drawing.